The episode, Shell of a Man, is a fun episode, giving us an idea of Mr. Krabs' Navy days. Here, take a look. Did you have a cool nickname, Mr. Krabs? I was old Armor Abs Krabs. You were? What do you mean? Well, I guess you were thinner back then. Oh, really? This is me Navy cadet uniform. Prepare to eat your words, because I haven't put on more than a... <laughs> The episode is solid with loads of great moments, but as you can probably guess, it also has some big mistakes. For one, take a look at this scene from the opening of the episode, as boom, where is good old Mr. Krabs' mouth? It just magically disappeared for a frame. Why'd you dig up your navy chest, sir? Well, my navy buddies and I are having a reunion. I wanted to wear my old uniform. Wow. Look at all your cool Navy stuff! The other mistake is a bit more funny, but listen closely. So at the beginning of the episode, Spongebob is cooking up a delicious Krabby Patty. And look, it has an onion on it, as you can see. There is some purple there. But literally a second later, in the next shot, the Krabby Patty is completely different, and now has two meat patties instead of the onion. Easy. Is number five's order ready yet, SpongeBob? Just a second, Squidward. Well, Krabby Patty, it's time for you to go now. <laughs> You grew up so fast! Hey, not a big deal, but it's still a mistake. And don't worry, there's a lot more where that came from, and they're crazy. Stay tuned. SpongeBob and Patrick are up to no good in the episode Ditchin'. SpongeBob wants to go to a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy comic book signing, but there is one problem. Brought to you by the new Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy book! <gasps> For the first time, we learn of these legendary superheroes' origin and their rise to stardom. Tomorrow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will appear in the flesh, signing their new book. Oh boy! We're gonna get our books and then we're gonna be Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then we're gonna shake their hands! There's only one problem! I'll be in boating school at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, well, well, can't you just skip a day? Just call it sick! Don't worry, though, as they come up with a plan where Spongebob does something that no one should ever do, and I'm talking to all of you guys. I'm talking about skipping school. Oh, oh I know! Uh, what are those things you use when, um, after you eat, you need to take a... Oh, take a, take a bathroom break! That's the one! What if you take a bathroom break tomorrow, sneak out of the window, get your book signed, and sneak back into class? It wouldn't take long at all! Yeah, seriously guys, don't skip school. That is bad. But want to know something else that is bad? This crazy mistake. Now this first error is pretty complicated, so keep your eyes peeled and listen closely. So, as you can see in this one shot, Incidental 41 is sitting at the front of the class. And as always, he has a yellow body, a purple fin, and blue pants. You can see him right here, he's circled, and remember this as it's important. Can anyone tell me what the hand signal is for a left turn? Uh, uh... Well, seconds later, when Spongebob leaves, um, what? Incidental 41 is now completely blue, has a blue fin, and is wearing brown pants, and looks completely different. Like, this is how he looked before, but now he looks like this. And hurry back, no dilly-dallying. Thanks, will do. What a weird mistake, but that ain't it for this episode. Let's head over to this badminton scene, as it's pretty epic. Take a look at some of the clips. I'm serving it up, SpongeBob! Ready or not! Patrick, do you remember how to play this game? Mm -hmm. Is this the one where the lowest score wins? Here it comes! No! Oh, <laughs> Now for this mistake to make sense, I want you to take a look at this shot of Sandy, our favorite squirrel. As you can see, her boots are dark gray. Remember this, this is how they always look, even back in the first season. But watch closely during this part of the badminton scene, as boom! Why are her boots white? They're supposed to be gray, but they're white in this scene. Weird. <laughs> Sandy cheeks at her own game! 
Our next mistake is from a very recent episode, the episode Squid Furatsu, which is full of funny moments. Here, take a look at a couple of them. Now, in terms of mistakes, this episode is pretty good, but I did find one as look. What are you doing in my garden? But Squidward, for shame, you can't just throw out the mail of notes for Atu. Where is Patrick's house? We've already been over this in today's video, but as you guys know, this is how Conch Street looks. And Patrick's rock home should be right to the left of Squidward's. So yeah, another mistake. Next up is the iconic and very nostalgic episode, The Great Fry Cook Games. An episode where we learn about, well, obviously, the Fry Cook Games, an event where Plankton and Mr. Mr. Krabs have been rivals for a very long time. But the real story is the bitter rivalry between former competitors Mr. Krabs of the Krusty Krab and Plankton of the Chum Bucket. Who could forget the year Mr. Krabs won gold for this 500 pickle clean and jerk? Yeah. Oh, when Plankton won the hearts of millions by performing this perfect onion ring routine with a broken antenna. <laughs> The episode really gets interesting, though, when we learn that this year, SpongeBob is going to represent Mr. Krabs, and that Plankton has somebody that's going to represent him. It's a shocker. Take a look. Ready or not, here he comes. Quick with fear, you mortal fools. This huge guy who's carrying the real contestant, Patrick Star. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because you're going to eat my dust. <laughs> I eat my own dust. Not if I eat it first. Yellow pig. Man, it's sad to see my two favorite cartoon characters fighting, and things get crazy in this scene. But this is also where we can find our first mistake in this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot it first, though. <laughs> Yeah, so it happens really fast, but for one frame, boom, Patrick is missing his mouth. Another mistake that is very similar can also be found earlier on in the episode, and it has to do with Plankton, as for one frame, our favorite green villain is also missing his mouth. That's two mouth mistakes in one episode, damn. Look at him, in his prime. You ain't got no chance. That's where you're wrong, Krabs. For I too have a champion! One of my favorite season one episodes is Karate Choppers, an episode all about SpongeBob and Sandy becoming obsessed and addicted to karate. Yeah, shopping's weird. You ever go into the Thief Food Island and say, who eats this stuff? Ah, I love this show! Me too! Ah, yeah. <laughs> Things actually get so bad that Spongebob starts getting in trouble at work due to him constantly being distracted or paranoid of when Sandy is gonna jump him next. It gets to the point where Spongebob even gets fired. Gotcha! Spongebob! I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Now fill these orders or leave Spongebob, we're very busy today! <laughs> What did I just get through telling you, lad? SpongeBob, you're fired! Huh? Fired? Now, during one of these scenes where SpongeBob's karate addiction gets the best of him, we can find a mistake. SpongeBob, now are you gonna. Oh, Squidward, I was going through some records back in the office and. Huh? 
So, you got the hairpiece after all! So as you can see, six patties were flung onto Squidward's head. There are exactly six in total, but only a few seconds later and look. Took care of her, yes I did. Oh, ahoy sir! What was that? But sir, she snuck up on me in my own dojo. Squidward now has eight Krabby Patties on his head, when as we saw, it's supposed to be six. Another error can also be found later on in the episode when SpongeBob needs to clean the bathroom. So look, as you can see, there is a sign reminding customers to clean their hands. Same to all of you guys, after you're done using the washroom, always clean your hands. But anyways, as the scene progresses, the sign as you can see here, just magically disappears. It's just gone now. Poof. SpongeBob, did you get those bathrooms mopped yet? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, boss. I mean, Poobah. <laughs> Sandy! <laughs> but, Mr. Krabs. The season 1 episode, Sandy's Rocket, is a really funny episode, especially the second half when Spongebob and Patrick think that everyone is like an alien and they begin capturing everyone. Really funny episode. This mistake, though, isn't so funny. Well, actually, it is kind of funny. But at the beginning of the episode, as you can see, there is a ladder to get onto this platform. Right beside Sandy's house by the rocket, okay? There's a ladder. This is really important. But in the next scene when Spongebob arrives, the ladder we just seen is like gone. There's just no ladder now. And it happened in a matter of seconds, so definitely a mistake. Another mistake can be found during this scene. So as you can see, in Spongebob's bedroom, his blanket, it's like a aqua teal color, okay? You can see it right here. But during this shot, when we get a close-up of the alien out, it's now purple. His blanket just changed. I mean, hey, maybe he changed blankets? I don't know. Which blanket did you prefer, his aqua one or his purple one? Let me know in the comments. Here's a clip of both mistakes with audio. Hey Sandy! Hey Sandy! Hey Sandy! Repellent. Let me see that. New alien out window protectant. Does not stop burglars. Well, I guess you're right, Patrick. We better go spray those windows. The episode Sailor Mouth is a classic episode. Like, if you haven't seen this episode, go watch it. It's so good. This is mainly due to the plot, where SpongeBob is introduced to swear words. Here, take a look. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash. Mm. Mm. Dumpster writing. The voice of the people. Hmm, what's this one? Crabs is a... Huh? Crabs is a... Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, sometimes, but not... Recently. Nah, -uh, not that word. That word. Now, due to SpongeBob not knowing that these new words are swear words, he goes to work and just begins to swear in front of customers. And this is where we can find our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Hello, customers. Nice day we're having, huh? And don't forget to ask us to... The... Bye. It'll be our... Pleasure. Yeah, so when we first see this family of octopus, we can see this little guy over here. And as you can see, he's wearing like a red hat. But as the scene progresses, his hat magically changes to blue. At first it was red, and now it's blue. The mistakes in this episode don't end here, as at the end of the episode, Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob and Patrick trouble for using their swear words. And as you can see, Mr. Krabs stubs his foot right here. But if you look, the foot that he's holding and like soothing is the wrong foot. When he stubbed his foot, he stubbed this one. As punishment for foul in the air in me restaurant with your foul words, you're gonna give the crusty crab a fresh coat of paint from top to bottom. Wow! But then the foot that he's holding is his left foot. Oh my foot! What? She just brought a rocket of bath! Can't just say I got a foot of air! Oh! 
definitely a mistake there. He's holding the wrong foot. You didn't even stub that toe, dude. Now I'm going to move on to the next mistake, but take a look at these clips from the episode. They're hilarious. <gasps> We're gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs. No, please, not my mommy. Mama Krabs. Well, hello there. Mama Crab, eat that, eat that, eat that, I guess you scallywags have earned a glass of lemonade. Yeah! My foot! Mother! Now I wonder, what would happen if Plankton and Mr. Krabs switched places? As we've seen in the last episode, they're bitter rivals. So it's interesting to see this happen in the Algae's Always Greener, where they switch places and Plankton is now the owner of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Neptune above. Huh? What's this? Yeah? I'm in the Krusty Krab. <laughs> and that means the light switcher was a success! The Krusty Krab is mine! Now this episode has two mistakes in particular. Let's see this scene first, and as always, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake without my help. Holographic meatloaf again. When am I gonna get some real food? Mr. Krabs gets to eat real food. Just look at his daughter. She's as big as a whale. Then why don't you just use that switch lives just to know what it's like a magnifier thing you built last Tuesday? Your parents must have been like part computer or something. <sighs> Now let's see here. No. 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 Aha! This one is really hidden, but during the bubble transition, look. The word SpongeBob like text can be seen on screen, which was definitely an editing error. It looks really weird. And we have another one. As take a look at this scene, again, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake. It has to do with Squidward. So what do you want me to do about it? I'd like my view to be a little less yellow. Hope you like gray. Hey, Squidward, I can see you through this little window. We've covered similar mistakes like this in the past, but as most of you know, Squidward is a squid, so he's supposed to have multiple legs. I believe it's six legs, but in this one shot, our boy only has two legs, which is 100% a mistake. As most of you know, Mr. Krabs is a very, very, very cheap old man. Like, this guy will do anything to save a penny, including cheaping out on his daughter's birthday in the episode Squeaky Boots by buying her a pair of old used boots for her birthday when she's like a teenage girl. Like, what a terrible gift. Hey, in the end, Pearl does get her flipper slippers and I'm happy for her. She gets her fancy shoes. But what I'm not so happy about are these mistakes. For one, during this scene where SpongeBob is in Mr. Krabs' office, his legs are just white. His entire legs are white. Like, his socks should be white but not his entire legs. Those, those are some really long socks if so, but I'd say this was just a mistake. The other mistake can be found during this scene while also in Mr. Krabs' office as boom, SpongeBob's eyes are yellow. Hey, I said I'm not gonna do any more of the yellow teeth mistakes. His eyes being yellow still count. Oh, uh, well, his name's not important, but he was famous all right, don't you worry. I'm ready, I'm ready, I want those boots. Sorry, son. These boots are far too valuable. Mm. I know. What if I give you my Krusty Krab paycheck? Whoa. Uh, paycheck? You got a deal. Hey. Sponge boy, me Bob. Come in, come in, right this way, laddie. Have a seat anywhere, but not on these beautiful, priceless boots. This next error is kind of complicated, so listen closely. All right, so in the episode Just One Bite, Squidward claims that he's never, ever eaten a Krabby Patty before, which is a crime. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. No wonder you're always so miserable. Here, try this. Get that garbage out of my face. Come on, you're gonna... No. Open up the tunnel. Here comes the train. Choo-choo. No. What's that in your ear? 
Quitting. Considering the dude works at the Krusty Krab, I'm also just as shocked as SpongeBob. But yeah, you guys remember this episode, right? He's never eaten a Krabby Patty, and it's the main plot of this actual episode. Well, this is actually a lie, and a major continuity error. As if we rewind back to season two, the episode Your Shoes Untied, well, take a look at this scene. Interesting. It seems whoever wrote Just One Bite from Season 3 didn't watch Season 2, as this is a massive continuity error, and kind of kills the entire plot of Just One Bite. The only people who don't like a Krabby Patty have never tasted one! That's me. Never had one, never will. Our next mistake can be found in Roller Cowards, and it's pretty complicated, so listen closely. Before we get to the mistake, though, here's a fun clip from the episode. Ouch, that's gotta hurt, but anyways. So as I said, this one is complicated, so pay attention. But when this shot through the camera is first shown, in the background, we can see two fish, with a green one wearing these fresh white pants, and a purple one with yellow pants. There is also a roller coaster behind them. It's Globby Glob. Get over there and I'll take your picture with him. Get closer, Patrick. Uh-uh. Come on, close up! Now I want you all to remember this, as in the next shot, literally seconds later, not only have these two fish changed into completely different clothes, but there's now randomly a fence in front of the roller coaster. Like, look, this is how it looked before, and this is how it looks now. A little more. Now hold on to his thumb. Give me a big smile! Have a look! Not that big of a deal, but don't worry. I've got loads of crazier mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. Up next is Season 7's The Curse of Bikini Bottom, another Halloween banger. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick get a taste of the ghost life with the Flying Dutchman transforming our favorite duo into ghost versions of themselves. Now at first, our boys love being a ghost, but as the episode progresses, this ends up ruining their lives, understandably so, and makes them very depressed. I mean, just imagine being a ghost. You're spooky, but it would probably suck. Now the first mistake is a little complicated, so listen carefully. But a big plot point of this episode is the Flying Dutchman's beard being ruined by a lawnmower. Now, when this happens, he claims that it takes a thousand years to get his beard back for it to grow back. However, literally several months later, he is shown to have it again, so, a bit of a continuity error. He said it would take years, but it took him like eight months. Oh, also, during this one shot, look, where the heck is Patrick's mouth? Yeah, lots of crazy mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss them, but for now, here's some clips. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? You're not the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, the Flying Dutchman has a beard. Your beard will just grow back. You know nothing of my facial hair. It'll take a thousand years for my beard to grow back. I'm sorry, but we don't know what it's like to be ghosts. Well, maybe it's time you learn. Several months later. Well, here we are several months later. I wonder how the Dutchman and his new girlfriend are doing. I can't do it. She wants to marry me! I ain't the marrying type! SpongeBob. Yes, Patrick. Is this a trowel? Yes, Patrick. Oh, here it is. Ah! Our first Halloween special, full of mistakes, is I Was a Teenage Gary, a very creepy season 1 episode all about Spongebob quite literally morphing into a snail, 
after accidentally getting himself injected with snail plasma. Like it's crazy, look at some of these shots of Spongebob being forced into the snail version of himself. You can tell it's like terrible. Poor guy. To make things worse, by the end of the episode, our boy Squidward also transforms into a creepy snail version of himself as well, thus giving us this iconic ending scene with our spooky snail trio all chilling on this fence. Now there are a few mistakes in this episode, and they all take place right before Squidward nearly kills Gary by not feeding him. But let's start with the weirdest. For one, what the heck is going on with Squidward's model in this shot? Like, when was our boy ever this tall? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with Squidward's design in this shot, but definitely a mistake. That ain't it for this scene though, as look at Squidward's house, more specifically the eyebrows. Now, normally his house looks like this, and as you can see, the eyebrows are not connected. Remember this, you can see it right here, they're not connected. But in this one shot, they're randomly connected, making for an odd mistake. I've got plenty of other crazier mistakes coming up soon, by the way. You won't believe them. For now, though, here's some clips. This is gonna be the best three days of my life. Will you climb up? <laughs> one of my favorite season one episodes is Karate Choppers, an episode all about SpongeBob and Sandy becoming obsessed and addicted to karate. Things actually get so bad that Spongebob starts getting in trouble at work due to him constantly being distracted or paranoid of when Sandy is gonna jump him next. It gets to the point where Spongebob even gets fired. Oh, yeah. Gotcha! Spongebob! I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Now fill these orders or leave, Spongebob. We're very busy today! What the... Spongebob! What did I just get through telling you? SpongeBob, you're fired. Huh? Bye. Now, during one of these scenes where SpongeBob's karate addiction gets the best of him, we can find a mistake. SpongeBob, now are you gonna? Oh, Squidward, I was going through some records back in the office, and huh? So, you got the hairpiece after all! So as you can see, six patties were flung onto Squidward's head. There are exactly six in total, but only a few seconds later and look. Took care of her, yes I did. Oh, ahoy sir! What was that? But sir, she snuck up on me in my own dojo. Squidward now has eight Krabby Patties on his head, when as we saw, it's supposed to be six. Another error can also be found later on in the episode when SpongeBob needs to clean the bathroom. So look, as you can see, there is a sign reminding customers to clean their hands. Same to all of you guys, after you're done using the washroom, always clean your hands. But anyways, as the scene progresses, the sign as you can see here, just magically disappears. It's just gone now. Poof. Boss Bob, did you get those bathrooms mopped yet? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, boss. I mean, Pooba. <laughs> Sandy! <laughs> but Mr. Krabs. No more 
this karate stuff. The episode, Shell of a Man, is a fun episode, giving us an idea of Mr. Krabs' Navy days. Here, take a look. Did you have a cool nickname, Mr. Krabs? I was old Armor Abs Krabs. You were? What do you mean? Well, I guess you were thinner back then. Oh, really? This is me Navy cadet uniform. Prepare to eat your words, because I haven't put on more than a... <laughs> The episode is solid, with loads of great moments, but as you can probably guess, it also has some big mistakes. For one, take a look at this scene from the opening of the episode, as boom, where is good old Mr. Krabs' mouth? It just magically disappeared for a frame. <laughs> Why'd you dig up your navy chest, sir? Well, my navy buddies and I are having a reunion. And I wanted to wear my old uniform. Wow! Look at all your cool navy stuff! The other mistake is a bit more funny, but listen closely. So at the beginning of the episode, SpongeBob is cooking up a delicious Krabby Patty. And look, it has an onion on it, as you can see. There is some purple there. But literally a second later, in the next shot, the Krabby Patty is completely different, and now has two meat patties instead of the onion. Easy. Is number five's order ready yet, SpongeBob? Just a second, Squidward. Well, Krabby Patty, it's time for you to go now. You grew up so fast! Hey, not a big deal, but it's still a mistake. And don't worry, there's a lot more where that came from, and they're crazy. Stay tuned. SpongeBob and Patrick are up to no good in the episode Ditchin. SpongeBob wants to go to a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy comic book signing. But there is one problem. Brought to you by the new Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy book. <gasps> For the first time, we learn of these legendary superheroes' origin and their rise to stardom. Tomorrow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will appear in the flesh signing their new book. Oh boy! We're gonna get our books and then we're gonna be Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then we're gonna shake their hands! There's only one problem! I'll be in boating school at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, well, well, can't you just skip a day? J just call it sick! Don't worry, though, as they come up with a plan where SpongeBob does something that no one should ever do, and I'm talking to all of you guys. I'm talking about skipping school. Oh, oh I know! Um, what are those things you use when, um, after you eat, you need to take a... Oh, take a, take a bathroom break! That's the one! What if you take a bathroom break tomorrow, sneak out of the window, get your book signed, and sneak back into class? It wouldn't take long at all! Yeah, seriously guys, don't skip school. That is bad. But want to know something else that is bad? This crazy mistake. Now this first error is pretty complicated, so keep your eyes peeled and listen closely. So, as you can see in this one shot, Incidental 41 is sitting at the front of the class. And as always, he has a yellow body, a purple fin, and blue pants. You can see him right here, he's circled, and remember this as it's important. Can anyone tell me what the hand signal is for a left turn? Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, seconds later, when Spongebob leaves, um, what? Incidental 41 is now completely blue, has a blue fin, and is wearing brown pants, and looks completely different. Like, this is how he looked before, but now he looks like this. And hurry back, no dilly-dallying. Thanks, will do. What a weird mistake, but that ain't it for this episode. Let's head over to this badminton scene, as it's pretty epic. Take a look at some of the clips. I'm serving it up, SpongeBob! Ready or not! Patrick, do you remember how to play this game? Mm-hmm. Is this the one where the lowest score wins? Here it comes! Oh, oh, <laughs> Now for this mistake to make sense, I want you to take a look at this shot of Sandy, our favorite squirrel. As you can see, her boots are dark grey. Remember this, this is how they always look, even back in the first season. But watch closely during this part of the badminton scene, as boom! Why are her boots white? They're supposed to be grey, but they're white in the scene. Weird. <laughs>
Our next mistake is from a very recent episode, the episode Squid Furatsu, which is full of funny moments. Here, take a look at a couple of them. Now, in terms of mistakes, this episode is pretty good, but I did find one as look. What are you doing in my garbage? <laughs> but Squidward, for shame, you can't just throw out the mail of notes for Atu. Where is Patrick's house? We've already been over this in today's video, but as you guys know, this is how Conch Street looks, and Patrick's rock home should be right to the left of Squidward's. So yeah, another mistake. SpongeBob and Patrick are up to no good in the episode Ditchin. SpongeBob wants to go to a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy comic book signing, but there is one problem. Brought to you by the new Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy book. <gasps> For the first time, we learn of these legendary superheroes' origin and their rise to stardom. Tomorrow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will appear in the flesh, signing their new book. Oh boy! We're gonna get our books and then we're gonna be Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then we're gonna shake their hands! There's only one problem! I'll be in boating school at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, well, well, can't you just skip a day? Just call it sick. Don't worry, though, as they come up with a plan where SpongeBob does something that no one should ever do. And I'm talking to all of you guys. I'm talking about skipping school. Oh, oh I know. Uh, what are those things you use when, um, after you eat, you need to take a... Oh, take a, take a bathroom break. That's the one. What if you take a bathroom break tomorrow, sneak out of the window, get your book signed, and sneak back into class? It wouldn't take long at all. Yeah, seriously, guys, don't skip school. That is bad. But want to know something else that is bad? This crazy mistake. Now this first error is pretty complicated, so keep your eyes peeled and listen closely. So as you can see in this one shot, Incidental 41 is sitting at the front of the class. And as always, he has a yellow body, a purple fin, and blue pants. You can see him right here, he's circled, and remember this as it's important. Can anyone tell me what the hand signal is for a left turn? Uh, uh... Well, seconds later, when SpongeBob leaves, um, what? Incidental 41 is now completely blue, has a blue fin, and is wearing brown pants, and looks completely different. Like, this is how he looked before, but now he looks like this. And hurry back, no dilly-dallying. Thanks, will do. What a weird mistake, but that ain't it for this episode. Let's head over to this badminton scene, as it's pretty epic. Take a look at some of the clips. I'm serving it up, SpongeBob! Ready or not! Patrick, do you remember how to play this game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this the one where the lowest score wins? Hear it! Jumps! <laughs> Now for this mistake to make sense, I want you to take a look at this shot of Sandy, our favorite squirrel. As you can see, her boots are dark gray. Remember this, this is how they always look, even back in the first season. But watch closely during this part of the badminton scene, as boom! Why are her boots white? They're supposed to be gray, but they're white in this scene. Weird. <laughs> The episode Artist Unknown is a really fun episode, with SpongeBob joining Squidward's art class, leading to tons of crazy moments. Repeat after me. I have no talent. I have no talent. If I'm lucky, some of Mr. Tentacle's talent may rub off on me. If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. Now this episode has two cheeky mistakes that I know you missed. The first one is in this scene. Let's see if you guys can catch it. How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> Sorry, I must have missed that one. 
Yeah, so Squidward is a squid, right? And as you guys know, squids have multiple legs. It's like a scientific fact, right? Like that's, it's just a thing. Squids have multiple legs. But why in this shot does Squidward only have two legs? This is a major mistake. An even worse mistake though can be found during this scene as What's going on with this guy's mouth is just gone. This type of mistake happens often in SpongeBob, but it's so weird when it does happen. It's it's a bad one. Here's a clip. <laughs> I'm here for the what the who's responsible for this? As of now, it's his responsibility. You, sir, are the greatest artist who ever lived! These next two mistakes are spicy, so get ready, and they can be found in the episode Missing Identity. Now, the first one is pretty simple. So normally, SpongeBob's house looks like this. He has two windows. It's looked like this ever since the first season, but during this one shot of Missing Identity, look. Patrick! What? You were supposed to say hi to me! Hi. Oh, good morning world, and all the women inhabitants! That's all the most important meal of the day! That's right, there's a random window placed on SpongeBob's house that's never appeared before this and never appeared again after, so was definitely a mistake. Now there is another one, but this one is a lot more complicated, so listen closely. In this episode, Missing Identity, the plot is based around Spongebob losing his name tag. I must point out that I am in fact wearing a name tag. Right here. Huh? <laughs> ah, the most terrible thing that's ever happened to me! I lost my name tag! But, of course, by the end of the episode, he finds it. It turns out that it was actually behind him the whole time. It was on the back side of his pants. My shirt backwards. What the? My shirt's on backwards! Oh, and just in time. Thanks, Patrick. Hello, mention it, buddy. This is where the mistake comes into play, as throughout the episode, we see SpongeBob's backside numerous times and his name tag isn't there. The main plot here is that SpongeBob lost his name tag and he finds it at the end of the episode in this clip. But if you pay attention throughout the episode, the dude never had the name tag on his backside. It was never there. We've seen him multiple times. So yeah, another mistake. Well, they were like in the dumpster. <laughs> What is that stench? That is the stench of discovery! This next error is wild and can be found in the episode Krusty Love, an episode where Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff showcase how in love they are. And Mr. Krabs takes her on a date. Oh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Oh, I doubt that, my little shrimp boat. Now, well, on this date is where we can find the mistake. So, as you can see, Mr. Krabs is wearing his fancy outfit. He looks pretty fresh. Lucky hockey! Check. Giant rusty anchor! Here! Anchor! Anchor! I can't find me giant rusty anchor! Ah! But while on his date with Mrs. Puff, for one frame, his outfit glitches back to his regular outfit. It then goes back to the fancy outfit. But as you can see, for one frame, it's like his old outfit. Really weird mistake. Rubs between courses, caricatures, imported music. Nothing's too good for you, my friggly peach. So as most of you guys know, Squidward loves to play clarinet. I mean, it's been a thing since the first season, and the dude loves his black clarinet. Well, I want you guys to pay attention during this scene in Squid Plus One. Like I said, Squidward's clarinet is black, right? It's always looked like this. Do you want to go with me to a gallery opening tonight? Well, it's not my kind of thing at all, but... For you, sure. But for some reason in this episode, once Squidward puts his clarinet down and argues with Larry, his clarinet is incorrectly colored as gold. It's hard to see, but I'll zoom in. Yeah, that thing's gold. So 
we still on for tonight? Okay, here's another one. So Squidward normally has these wrinkles on his forehead. They're always there. But for one frame in this episode, the wrinkles just weren't drawn. The animators, I guess, were just feeling a little lazy and didn't draw them. And boy, does it look awkward. Smart man captures. Here's to me. Oh, that simpering buffoon. You have a great vocabulary. I know. Indubitably. Squidward has come up with many pranks over the years, as we've seen in one of the earlier sections, but one of my favorites is when he pretends to be a ghost in the episode Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost and takes advantage of Spongebob and Patrick. Mm, I feel needy. Slate, fetcheth me some nourishment. A grape fresh from the vine, your ghostliness. Mm. A banana peeled to your liking, your incorporealness. Mm. One watermelon no, fresh from the manure field, your spookiness. Art thou not pleased? <laughs> now, in total, this episode has two mistakes, and they both have to do with SpongeBob's iconic pineapple home. So take a look at this. This is how it looks normally, with it only having two windows. And it even looks like this for a majority of the episode, Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost. But during this one brief shot, it is drawn with like two random extra windows, which is 100% a mistake. SpongeBob, are you trying to put me in the nut house? No, just into this hole. Ah! SpongeBob, I have a confession to make. <gasps> You're I'm alive. Furthermore, if we keep our eyes peeled during this scene where SpongeBob and Patrick carry Squidward, um, where the heck is SpongeBob's house? <laughs> Normally, Squidward's house should be directly to the left of SpongeBob, so we should be able to see SpongeBob, but yeah. Talk about a strange mistake. Stay tuned though, as I have some even crazier mistakes on the way. Seriously, I'm saving the best one for last. Next up, I've got three mistakes revolving around signs in the Krusty Krab, and these are complicated guys, so listen closely. So as I mentioned earlier, in the Krusty Krab, there is the Galley Grub menu, the menu with all of the different food items. There's also an order here here sign, okay? But these have major errors throughout the episode. Let's see if you can catch the order here one. Can I have a job application? I brought my own spatula. I called earlier, but I hung up because I was nervous. Do you have references? Wait, if that was you on the phone and you on the bus, who was flickering the lights? <laughs> Nosferatu. Yeah, the animators definitely need to work on their spelling, as they spell order here as order H-E-A-R. And the spelling mistakes don't end there. So Gally Grub is supposed to be spelled as G-A-L-L-E-Y-G-R-U-B. Remember this. But take a look at this shot. Where it will be closing time, right? About now, 8 o'clock. So long, suckers. I got a hot date with a little lady, and her name is Clarinet. As you've seen, it's misspelt as G A L L Y Grub, missing the E. And it's misspelt again in this shot. Yes, you and me together for hours and hours and hours, and then the sun will come up, and it'll be tomorrow, and we'll still be working. Are you ready? The Rock Squidward! No. Good! Cause we got customers! Yeah. Please hit me as hard as you can. With it being spelt as G-A-L-L-A-Y, grub. Another spelling mistake, so pretty funny. But let's move on to another mistake that's even crazier. The episode Jellyfish Hunter is really dark, like really dark, where Mr. Krabs manipulates SpongeBob into constantly catching jellyfish, to the point where Mr. Krabs just begins to abuse them. Gitchy, gitchy, goo. Uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, that scene where they're in the factory is so dark and shows how greedy Mr. Krabs is. But we also have some mistakes in this episode. I mean, it's what you guys are here for. First of all, it has to do with more crabs. It's this version of Mr. Krabs where he's just constantly asking SpongeBob to get more jellyfish. But for one frame, this dude's missing his mouth. More. More. Also, during this hilarious scene where SpongeBob launches like a rocket and loses his pants, look at his pants. If you look, a part of it is blue, it's like see-through, thus making for a really weird animation mistake. First up, let's head over to the show's very first season, the iconic season one, and talk about the episode Fools in April. We're moving today. That's right, we're leaving home. We're gonna become peasants. No more food. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> April Fool's! This episode is so funny, with SpongeBob pranking everyone he sees, including Squidward. Hold on, Squidward. There's someone here to see you. Says he's from the Barnacle Bay Art Museum. He wants to honor you as Artist of the Month. <laughs> Where's the art dealer? Oh, no. <laughs> Just missed him. He told us to tell you. Uh, hey, tell me what? He told me to tell you, April Fool. Poor Squidward. Like, SpongeBob is really annoying him in this episode. <laughs> hey, your shoes untied. April Fool. <laughs> <laughs> hey though, Squidward gets his revenge when he pranks Spongebob so hard that our boy starts to cry. It's actually kind of heartbreaking. I'm gonna show him what a real prank is all about! <laughs> Geez, Squidward, like, chill out, bro. You took things way, way too far. Now, our first mistake can actually be found during Squidward's vicious prank, as when we first see Incidental 71 right here, the dude is completely naked, like he's just going commando in the Krusty Krab. I was just kidding! You guys know I was just kidding, right? But later, when we see Incidental 71 again moments later, he is now fully clothed, rocking this purple shirt and shorts. April Fool's journey. I mean, what a bad mistake, but at the same time, I'm glad this dude put some clothes on. Seconds later though, and we have another error as watch as the fish leave the Krusty Krab. I've put the footage in slow motion, but you'll notice some of them either morph into like different generic fish or just straight up disappear and clip away. Looks really weird. Here's a clip. Wait, don't go! You stink! Wait, 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 it was a joke! Missing limbs seems to be a fairly consistent type of mistake on Spongebob. And the episode Pat No Pay is no exception, as take a look at Patrick's face during this scene. Wait, 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 wait. So, Patrick, how are you? <laughs> what in blazes did you do? I accidentally tried the hand soap. <laughs> it doesn't taste as good as it smells. Did you catch it? Well, Patrick's missing one of his eyebrows. Like, his left one's there, but the other one's just gone. Also, this one admittedly isn't as bad, but take a look at Mr. Krabs' eyebrows during this scene. We think the paying customers in our midst. Patrick, how's a Krabby Patty with extra cheese sauce? Oh, oh, Jimmy! Not yet! First I have to know! Can you pay for it? Normally, Mr. Krabs' eyebrows look like this, but in this one shot, they're colored just very weird. They're like beige or something. Not that big of a deal, so let's move on and get to some crazier mistakes. I know that's what you guys want. Okay, so I'm going to keep this next one quick, but the mistake is really bad. 
episode and can be found in the episode Pet Sitter Pat. This episode follows Patrick as he watches Gary for Spongebob, but as you can imagine, Patrick isn't a very good pet sitter. I would never let Patrick watch my animals. You got it. It's safe with me. Oh, hey, Fred, what's up? Yeah, like I said, the dude isn't a very good babysitter when it comes to pets. But it seems the animators aren't very good at spelling in this episode, as at one point, Patrick reads a book called Snail Tales. It's for Gary, it's supposed to be like fairy tales for snails, but take a look at the cover of the book. Snail Tales, that's a good one. Snail Tales? I thought it was called Meow Meow Meow. They used the wrong spelling of the word tails. In this case, it should be Snail Tales, T-A-L-E-S, but they spelt it as T-A-I-L-S, like a tail on an animal or something, like Sandy's tail. Talk about a weird mistake. The episode Picture Day is a pretty fun episode, but it also has two mistakes. Now, the first one is a little bit weird, so watch this scene. You'll see that SpongeBob paints on the lines of his socks. <laughs> Pretty cute. Uh, it's a funny scene, but the only problem is if we rewind like 10 seconds prior, SpongeBob already had the stripes on his socks in the opening scene. <laughs> Oh, also, there's something up with SpongeBob's iconic square pants in this scene. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Well, I'm not sure how I did it, but I Fit or sticks. Yeah, so one side of SpongeBob's pants is yellow when it's not supposed to be yellow. So this next error is kind of complicated, so listen closely. All right, so in the episode Just One Bite, Squidward claims that he's never ever eaten a Krabby Patty before, which is a crime. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. No wonder you're always so miserable. Here, try this. Get that garbage out of my face. Come on, you're gonna. No. Open up the tunnel. Here comes the train. Choo choo. No. What's that in your ear? Considering the dude works at the Krusty Krab, I'm also just as shocked as SpongeBob. But yeah, you guys remember this episode, right? He's never eaten a Krabby Patty, and it's the main plot of this actual episode. Well, this is actually a lie, and a major continuity error. As if we rewind back to season two, the episode Your Shoes Untied, well, take a look at this scene. What? Interesting. It seems whoever wrote Just One Bite from Season 3 didn't watch Season 2, as this is a massive continuity error and kind of kills the entire plot of Just One Bite. The only people who don't like a Krabby Patty have never tasted one. That's me. Never had one, never will. Another fantastic Season 1 episode is The Paper. In this episode, Squidward has a complete meltdown when SpongeBob uses his imagination to have a bunch of fun with a simple piece of paper. A piece of paper that Squidward actually threw away, by the way. SpongeBob does all sorts of weird and fun activities with it and has a blast. But this really, really upsets Squidward for some reason. Now our next mistake can be found during this scene as when Spongebob plays the paper as an instrument and sheet music appears on screen, the actual sheet music on screen is completely incorrect and does not actually line up with the actual music being played by Spongebob's paper. Furthermore, during this scene, where Squidward is about to trade his entire house just for the paper because Spongebob had fun with it, Spongebob's teeth are yellow for a split second. Ew, go brush your teeth, Spongebob.
Yeah, see, you're playing it like this. When ordinarily it goes like this. I'm partial to doing it in the key of A minor myself. Well, that's the last of it. I've given you everything but the shirt off my back. Word. Is this still part of the test? Because it, it's really getting harder and harder to keep my promise. Okay, the shark. Take it, take my shark. The episode Artist Unknown is a really fun episode, with SpongeBob joining Squidward's art class, leading to tons of crazy moments. Repeat after me. I have no talent. I have no talent. If I'm lucky, some of Mr. Tentacle's talent may rub off on me. If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. Now this episode has two cheeky mistakes that I know you missed. The first one is in this scene. Let's see if you guys can catch it. How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> Sorry, I must have missed that one. Yeah, so Squidward is a squid, right? And as you guys know, squids have multiple legs. It's like a scientific fact, right? Like that's, it's just a thing. Squids have multiple legs. But why in this shot does Squidward only have two legs? This is a major mistake. An even worse mistake though can be found during this scene as What's going on with this guy's mouth is just gone. This type of mistake happens often in SpongeBob, but it's so weird when it does happen. It's it's a bad one. Here's a clip. <laughs> I'm here for the what the Who's responsible for this? As of now, it's his responsibility. You, sir, are the greatest artist who ever lived! Our next mistake can be found in Roller Cowards, and it's pretty complicated, so listen closely. Before we get to the mistake, though, here's a fun clip from the episode. <laughs> Ouch, that's gotta hurt, but anyways. So as I said, this one is complicated, so pay attention. But when this shot through the camera is first shown, in the background, we can see two fish, with a green one wearing these fresh white pants, and a purple one with yellow pants. There is also a roller coaster behind them. It's Globby Glob. Get over there and I'll take a picture with him. Get closer, Patrick. Uh-uh. Come on, closer! Now I want you all to remember this, as in the next shot, literally seconds later, not only have these two fish changed into completely different clothes, but there's now randomly a fence in front of the roller coaster. Like, look, this is how it looked before, and this is how it looks now. A little more. Now hold on to his thumbs. Give me a big smile! How do I look? Not that big of a deal, but don't worry. I've got loads of crazier mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Jellyfishing, another season one banger. Like seriously, season one had so many good episodes. Now, this episode in particular gave us our first introduction to SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite hobby, their favorite pastime, jellyfishing. But of course, like every episode we'll be talking about today, it has a mistake. During this scene, where Squidward is bicycling away, there is one shot where Spongebob's house is completely missing, when it should be to the right of Squidward's house. Another mistake can be found when Spongebob says, Hey Patrick. As if you watch closely, Patrick's mouth moves to what Spongebob is saying, when it should only be Spongebob's mouth moving, since I mean, he's the one talking, so yeah. Here's a clip of both mistakes with audio. Oh sure, right. Whatever. Why, that'll never happen. You know, Patrick, it always seems like Squidward never has time for fun. Maybe he doesn't like us. No, are you kidding? We're his best friend. Uh, I, oh, uh, <laughs> oh. Hey, Patrick. 
Well, uh, I thought yesterday went pretty well, don't you think? I had fun. Me too. Here comes Squidward. Oh, great. <laughs> So guys, I wonder, what would happen if Spongebob forgot how to tie his shoes? Well here, let me show you as this exact same thing happens in the episode, Your Shoes Untied. Well, you start by taking one lace per hand, and then you, uh, you gotta loop the... Are you sure you know how to do it? Patrick, please, shoe tying requires peace and quiet. Your shoes are still untied. Well, I guess you don't want me to show you how to do it. That's not right. Ah, I can't believe I've forgotten how to tie my own shoes. They've been tied for as long as I can remember. All right, so our first mistake has to do with SpongeBob's iconic pineapple house. So normally it looks like this. It's looked like this ever since the first season with it only having two windows. You guys can see it right here, but take a look at this shot in Your Shoes Untied. Cause I'm ready. 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 Yeah, so I don't know what the animators were doing with this episode, but that is way too many windows, and none of those windows actually exist. This is a mistake. And that ain't even it for this episode, as I have two more mistakes in one scene. So in this shot, for one, the galley grub menu is missing. It's normally right here, as you can see in this picture, but in this one shot, is just gone. Furthermore, if you listen to old man Walker when he talks, he's an old man, right? He's old. His voice has always sounded like this in older episodes. Oh, pardon me, young lady. <laughs> what a fuck. But for some reason in this episode, they gave him the voice of like a young man. Just listen, it sounds really weird and is definitely a mistake. <laughs> What's the hold up? <laughs> Mr. Krabs and Plankton have faced off many times before, but things really get hectic when they take each other to court in the episode Krabs vs. Plankton. And guess who's Mr. Krabs' attorney? Court will come to order. The Honorable Judge Tickleback presiding. Mr. Krabs, where is your attorney? <laughs> I am. Thank you for joining us, Mr. SpongeBob Lawyer Pants, Your Honor. Yeah, this episode has a hilarious plot. It also has two mistakes, though, that I know you missed. For one, during this scene where Mr. Krabs walks back and forth, his legs turn transparent. This never happens when he walks normally, so this was definitely a mistake. Oh, the pain! The deep frying pain! <laughs> I'm in a blue ruin. I'm doomed. Wait though, there's more. As look at this. As you can see, Fred is colored green, as he always is throughout the entire show. But during this one shot where Mr. Krabs yells at Plankton, look, he's now blue. Like what? He just turned blue. Here's a clip. I'll drop the charges if you give me the formula. Never yet. <gasps> ow, ow, my widow arm. Up next is the episode Tea at the Tree Dome, and this episode is very special as it serves as the introduction to Sandy Cheeks, one of the best characters in cartoon history in my opinion. Now there are plenty of great scenes in this episode. For example, Spongebob and Patrick nearly dying because they're not wearing like the water helmets and you know, her tree dome's filled with air so they're gonna die, it's hilarious. But the episode has a mistake, I mean, come on, it's the title of the video. During this scene, as you can see right here, a part of Spongebob's belt is missing, like the left part of his pants, like the belt of his pants is gone. Another mistake can be found even closer to the beginning of the episode, as during this shot when Spongebob puts his binoculars away, his teeth are yellow again. Now don't get me wrong, I, I don't like the yellow teeth mistakes, they're kind of lazy, so this will be the last yellow teeth mistake, but his teeth are yellow and it looks gross. Go brush your teeth, man. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> 
Here it is. Land squirrel. That little squirrel is in trouble. Take that, you soil plant! You all need to burn some water! Wow. Four stingers. The episode Jellyfish Hunter is really dark, like really dark, where Mr. Krabs manipulates Spongebob into constantly catching jellyfish, to the point where Mr. Krabs just begins to abuse them. What is this horrible play? Gigi, gigi, goo. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that scene where they're in the factory is so dark and shows how greedy Mr. Krabs is. But we also have some mistakes in this episode, I mean, it's what you guys are here for. First of all, it has to do with more crabs. It's this version of Mr. Krabs where he's just constantly asking Spongebob to get more jellyfish. But for one frame, this dude's missing his mouth. More. More. Also, during this hilarious scene where Spongebob launches like a rocket and loses his pants, look at his pants. If you look, a part of it is blue, it's like see-through, thus making for a really weird animation mistake. Up next is Season 7's The Curse of Bikini Bottom, another Halloween banger. In this episode, Spongebob and Patrick get a taste of the ghost life with the Flying Dutchman transforming our favorite duo into ghost versions of themselves. Now at first, our boys love being a ghost, but as the episode progresses, this ends up ruining their lives, understandably so, and makes them very depressed. I mean, just imagine being a ghost. You're spooky, but it would probably suck. Now the first mistake is a little complicated, so listen carefully. But a big plot point of this episode is the Flying Dutchman's beard being ruined by a lawnmower. Now, when this happens, he claims that it takes a thousand years to get his beard back, for it to grow back. However, literally several months later, he is shown to have it again, so, a bit of a continuity error. He said it would take years, but it took him like eight months. Oh, also, during this one shot, look, where the heck is Patrick's mouth? Yeah, lots of crazy mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss them, but for now, here's some clips. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? You're not the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. The Flying Dutchman has a beard. Your beard will just grow back. You know nothing of my facial hair. It'll take a thousand years for my beard to grow back. I'm sorry, but we don't know what it's like to be ghosts. Well, maybe it's time you learn. Several months later. Well, here we are several months later. I wonder how the Dutchman and his new girlfriend are doing. I can't do it. She wants to marry me! I hate the marrying type! Our first set of mistakes are hidden in the episode The Lost Mattress. In this episode, Spongebob and Squidward buy Mr. Krabs a new mattress and throw out his old one due to it giving Mr. Krabs back issues. We should get Mr. Krabs a new mattress and surprise him with it as a gift! Wow. How many do you think there are? Ten. Seems like a good idea, right? You'd think so, but no. Why? Well, I'll let Mr. Krabs explain himself. So, you so where's my old mattress then? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I, I, my money was in that mattress. <laughs> And we got you a card. Is there money in it? Nope. Uh. Now this episode in total has two sneaky mistakes. And this first one is bad, as during this scene where Squidward is bitten by a worm, um, where the heck is his neck? Is just missing, making for an awkward shot. Coast is clear. Squiddy, you are a genius. Ouch! What the? Hey, I needed a wooden spoon. I'll just keep it safe from harm in my back pocket. <laughs> I should have guessed. <laughs> 
The other mistake is more of a continuity error, but during this one shot, there is randomly a keyhole in the Krusty Krab's doors, when literally in the very next shot, the keyhole is gone. It wasn't there for comedic purposes, so this was definitely a weird mistake. Are you hurt, Mr. Crab? I just doubled over in pain, fighting back tears in my eyes because of a new dance crane. I'm sorry I stepped at you, laddie. It's just me back. It's killing me. It's me old lumpy mattress. It's like trying to sleep on broken coral. Mr. Krabs and Plankton have faced off many times before, but things really get hectic when they take each other to court in the episode Krabs vs. Plankton. And guess who's Mr. Krabs' attorney? <laughs> Court will come to order. The Honorable Judge Tickleback presiding. Mr. Krabs, where is your attorney? Here I am. Thank you for joining us, Mr. SpongeBob Lawyer Pants, Your Honor. Yeah, this episode has a hilarious plot. It also has two mistakes, though, that I know you missed. For one, during this scene where Mr. Krabs walks back and forth, his legs turn transparent. This never happens when he walks normally, so this was definitely a mistake. Wait though, there's more. As look at this, as you can see, Fred is colored green, as he always is throughout the entire show. But during this one shot where Mr. Krabs yells at Plankton, look, he's now blue. Like what? He just turned blue. Here's a clip. I'll drop the charges if you give me the formula. <laughs> Okay, so let's kick things off with a bang, starting with the episode Midlife Crustacean, an episode all about Mr. Krabs feeling old like an old man and wanting to feel young again. Hey! No cutting! You gotta wait your turn like everybody else! Oh, I don't like you! I ain't old! I ain't old! He tags along with Spongebob and they eventually do something that's a little inappropriate, and this is where we can find our first mistake. Good night to you. I guess you're gonna miss the panty raid. The what? Well, count me in. If this works, I'll take back what I said about you two being lame. Yup, you heard Patrick right. SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick sneak into an old woman's house to steal her panties. And as you can see, the house that they're entering is blue. I want you guys to remember this. This is very important. It's blue. Give us some credit, old man. We're panty professionals. We score here all the time. Now, as the scene progresses, we eventually find out that the old woman's house is actually Mr. Krabs' mom. So they broke into Mr. Krabs' mom's house to steal her underwear, and they get caught. Now, from here, Mr. Krabs gets grounded, but take a look at the house. But it was all SpongeBob and Patrick's idea! Go to your room, mister. You're grounded for the rest of the night. Good night, Mr. Krabs. Good night, SpongeBob. Eugene! Lights out. That's mommy. Yeah, so as you guys remember, before it was blue, but now her house is completely changed and it's like pink, so definitely a mistake here. Now what's funny is this same scene actually has another mistake, so take a look at the underwear at first. It looks like this, it looks like normal underwear, right? <laughs> But then, when we see the underwear again, it now looks like this. It almost looks like boxers or briefs. So the design of the underwear randomly changed in the matter of like 10 seconds. So yeah, another mistake. We hit the jackpot! Oh yeah! Mr. Krabs! <laughs> you finally came through for me, boys! I feel young again! Eugene? Mother? What are you doing with my bloomers? First up is the episode The Smoking Peanut, which has three whopping mistakes in one episode. Take a look at this first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Wait! Here's the real criminal! Uh, top of the morning! Mr. Krabs has stolen a very important item from the oyster. <laughs> Pearl! 
Okay, so for those who didn't catch it, normally Mr. Krabs' outfit looks like this, and what you really need to pay attention to is the belt buckle. Normally, the outline of the buckle is gold and then the inside of it is black because the inside of it is the belts. But in this one shot, they got it reversed. Here's another one that is much, much more worse. So near the ending of the episode, we get this shot of SpongeBob and take a look at his belt. Let's see if you guys can catch this mistake. As you can see, one part of SpongeBob's belt is just brown, like the rest of his pants, like right here it's circled. It's supposed to be black like the rest of his belt, but I don't know, I guess the animators were feeling a little lazy that day. Damn, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I got one more. As take a look at this shot, something's missing. Who could never hate me no matter what I do? Squidward! Squidward! Oh, Squidward! Do you have to knock so loudly? Sorry, neighbor. Oh, that overgrown clam is giving me a headache. I can't even take my afternoon beauty nap. <laughs> Any hardcore SpongeBob fan knows this, but this is Conch Street. This is how it looks. We have SpongeBob's house, Squidward's house, and then Patrick's house. But in this shot, where's Patrick's house? It's just gone. Talk about a mistake. Gary the Snail is a very cute and honestly harmless pet, right? Well, that's what I thought until I seen the episode once bitten. Take a look at this. Hey, SpongeBob. Keep your shell vermin off of my property! You leave me no choice but to call snail control. That little monster. <laughs> he bit me! Gary! No, dirty boy, this isn't like you. You mean your pet hasn't been vaccinated for mad snail disease? The bite from that infected snail will turn you into a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, in this episode, Gary is wildin', and this scene is where we can find our first mistake in this episode. It has to do with this old lady. I want you guys to watch these clips and see if you can spot the mistake on your own. I'm a zombie, here to die on your squishy yellow flag. Okay, so this one's pretty simple. As you can see, this nice old lady right here is wearing a purple dress. It actually looks pretty nice on her. But literally seconds later, and her dress has magically changed from purple to a green dress, thus making for some lazy continuity errors right here. Of course though, that ain't it. I have another one, take a look at these clips, and let's see if you can spot the mistake, let's go. All those people think you're a monster, but I know you're just a snail. Gary, how could you? SpongeBob's been infected by his own pet snail. Oh, the irony! Yeah, this one is very straightforward, but SpongeBob is missing his legs. You can tell by the angle that his legs just were not drawn, which was a very lazy move by the animators. Not a big deal, but pretty lazy. Yo, so this next one, guys, is really funny. It's easy to miss, though, and takes place in the iconic episode, Band Geeks. Like, seriously, I love this episode, so just here's a fun clip from the episode really quick. I'm gonna show the mistake after, though. Bra section, go! Good! Now the wind! And the drum! Too bad that didn't kill me. Okay, enough fun. Let's get to the mistake. So during this scene where Mr. Krabs asks, when do we get the free food? We can see Sandy is sitting beside Mr. Krabs, right? And then two seats behind Mr. Krabs is Incidental 105. Fortunately, I have enough talent for all of you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
When do we get the free food? Now again, it's easy to miss, so listen closely, guys. Part of Incidental 105 is shown, but the part that should be shown in Sandy's helmet is not there. Like, look, I'm zooming in on it. A piece of him is missing. We should be able to see that piece through Sandy's helmet, but the animators just didn't draw that part. So yeah, here's a clip. Really bad mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When do we get the free food? This next error is kind of complicated, so listen closely. All right, so in the episode Just One Bite, Squidward claims that he's never, ever eaten a Krabby Patty before, which is a crime. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. I've never had a Krabby Patty. No wonder you're always so miserable. Here, try this. Get that garbage out of my face. Come on, you're gonna... No. Open up the tunnel. Here comes the train. Choo-choo. No. What's that in your ear? Considering the dude works at the Krusty Krab, I'm also just as shocked as Spongebob. But yeah, you guys remember this episode, right? He's never eaten a Krabby Patty, and it's the main plot of this actual episode. Well, this is actually a lie, and a major continuity error. As if we rewind back to Season 2, the episode Your Shoes Untied, well, take a look at this scene. Spongebob! What's the hold up? Interesting. It seems whoever wrote Just One Bite from Season 3 didn't watch Season 2, as this is a massive continuity error and kind of kills the entire plot of Just One Bite. The only people who don't like a Krabby Patty me. Never had one, never will. So guys, I wonder, what would happen if Spongebob forgot how to tie his shoes? Well, here, let me show you as this exact same thing happens in the episode, Your Shoes Untied. Well, you start by taking one lace per hand, and then you, uh, you gotta loop the... the Are you sure you know how to do it? Patrick, please, shoe tying requires peace and quiet. Your shoes are still untied. Well... I guess you don't want me to show you how to do it. That's not right. Ah, I can't believe I've forgotten how to tie my own shoes. They've been tied for as long as I can remember. All right, so our first mistake has to do with SpongeBob's iconic pineapple house. So normally it looks like this. It's looked like this ever since the first season with it only having two windows. You guys can see it right here. But take a look at this shot in Your Shoes Untied. Cause I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, so I don't know what the animators were doing with this episode, but that is way too many windows, and none of those windows actually exist. This is a mistake. And that ain't even it for this episode, as I have two more mistakes in one scene. So in this shot, for one, the galley grub menu is missing. It's normally right here, as you can see in this picture, but in this one shot, it's just gone. Furthermore, if you listen to Old Man Walker when he talks, he's an old man, right? He's old. His voice has always sounded like this in older episodes. Oh, pardon me, young lady. What a fuck. But for some reason in this episode, they gave him the voice of like a young man. Just listen, it sounds really weird and is definitely a mistake. <laughs> What's the hold up? <laughs> One of my favorite season one episodes is Karate Choppers, an episode all about SpongeBob and Sandy becoming obsessed and addicted to karate. Yeah, shopping's weird. You ever go into the seafood aisle and say, who eats this stuff? Ah, I love this show. Me too. Ah, Things actually get so bad that Spongebob starts getting in trouble at work due to him constantly being distracted or paranoid of when Sandy is gonna jump him next. It gets to the point where Spongebob even gets fired. Oh, yeah. Gotcha! Spongebob! I'm going to 
pretend that didn't happen. Now fill these orders or leave, SpongeBob. We're very busy today. <laughs> what, the... SpongeBob! what did I just get through telling you, last SpongeBob? You're fired! Huh? Fired? <laughs> Now during one of these scenes where Spongebob's karate addiction gets the best of him, we can find a mistake. Spongebob, now are you gonna- Oh, uh, Squidward, I was going through some records back in the office and- Huh? So, you got the hairpiece after all! So as you can see, six patties were flung onto Squidward's head. There are exactly six in total, but only a few seconds later and look. Took care of her, yes I did. Oh, ahoy sir! What was that? But sir, she snuck up on me in my own dojo. Squidward now has eight Krabby Patties on his head, when as we saw, it's supposed to be six. Another error can also be found later on in the episode when SpongeBob needs to clean the bathroom. So look, as you can see, there is a sign reminding customers to clean their hands. Same to all of you guys, after you're done using the washroom, always clean your hands. But anyways, as the scene progresses, the sign as you can see here, just magically disappears. It's just gone now. Poof. SpongeBob, did you get those bathrooms mopped yet? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, boss. I mean, Pooba. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> but Mr. Krabs. Yo, so I'm going to make this one quick, but it's really, really bad. In the episode Atlantis Square Pantis, take a look at this scene and pay attention to Patrick. Let's see if you guys can catch this mistake. A magical path to Atlantis is a like I said, this one is really bad. It's hard to see, but take a look at SpongeBob as Patrick's arm is going through SpongeBob's body. It's like glitching through his chest. Like, take a close look. Really bad mistake. Next up, I have two Gary the Snail themed mistakes. They're pretty bad. I have no idea how the animators missed them. Let's take a look at this first one and see if you guys can spot it. Now, Gary, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Or the medium way. Or the semi-medium easy hard way. Or the sort of hard with a touch of awkward, easy, difficult, challenging way. So that's how you want to play it, huh? It's new toy! Fetch! Huh? New boomerang pet ball. Really works. This one is interesting, especially because it happens really fast. But as most of you guys know, this is how Gary's eyes look. They're red. They're beautiful. Gary has some beautiful eyes, but they're red, okay, as you can see right here. But for one frame in this shot, Gary's eyes are purple, and they look really weird. I have no idea how the animators made this mistake because it's for one frame, but it's pretty bad. And there's more. Let's see if you guys can catch it. So if I can't get you to come to the bath, I'll just have to bring the bath to you. <laughs> Bath delivery. This one is a lot less complex. Pretty much, normally Gary's eyelids look like this. They're like the same color as the stems of his eyes. They're like blue or purplish. But in the episode Gary takes a bath, there's one scene where his eyelids are pink which is a massive mistake that's not right. So yeah, another mistake. Gary. Bath delivery. 